Okay guys, today I am going to show you my favorite Laura. Now, as far as the model goes, I've used it before and I don't really remember all of the results. But, I was generating with it already because I wanted to make sure that I picked a good, a good model for you guys. And it, it is really good. It looks it looks really good and it's been, it's been behaving really well. And I do remember liking it a lot. I just don't remember much about it. But... I did show you some lures with it earlier. I think it was with the witch. It's it's the the witch is the one with the the most views that I've had on my on my channel so far. Um, they have they have some or he R F K T R uh, has some really good models, uh, really good lures with it. Here uh, I'll even show you what I what, what I did. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. I used the R F K. Dark Dream Mini. I remember using that in there. Uh, this one can come out pretty good if you use it with some stuff. Um, and I use the Bondarex. I remember that the Bondarex. All of them will really do will do really good stuff. Uh, if well, the, the ones that I've used, I haven't used all of these. Uh, but I, I do remember the Techno Tricks came out with a couple of, of, of a few really really trippy really good ones uh it also did some really uh, good kawaii i don't know the little cute animal stuff but uh i had robots uh it did really good with those uh th this right here was really good with the witch and then the bonorex was really good with the witch um so today i'm trying out the the the, the dark dream model i've used it before i just don't really remember what i've used it with but i, I remember liking it a lot so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it with this one. So, and the Dark Surrealism AI by uh, Knowing Walter. Now, this is my favorite Laura. Uh, you can get some really good images out of it, but it's, it's very tricky. Uh, the weight on here, like sometimes I'll drop it all the way down to one. Sometimes I'll leave it, I'll leave it all the way up to one. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. Sometimes I'll drop it all the way to 0 0.1. Sometimes I'll leave it all the way at one. It's just it's just what you want to do, and it's it's it can be a very tricky one. Um, I like this one a lot. It does make look look at that. It makes it makes some really good images. I'm excited about it because I I'll usually like I'll mix this in like almost a almost not not everything I do, but I will mix it in a lot of the stuff I do. A lot of the times, if I'm looking for something to, to, to throw in there, I'll go with this and I'll throw it in there, even in, in just, just weird stuff like, uh, not, not weird, but like just normal stuff you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect this to be in. Something like, like, like the cute robots or the cute animals and stuff like that. And it'll throw a really good effect into it. It does have two trigger words. You might want to try them out uh, one by one and then, and then try them out both together. See what you like. See how it works. But I did come up with a prompt here. Uh, beautiful exotic woman dancing on an alien planet. I haven't tried out the prompt yet. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and high res fix it. I'm going to put it at I'm going to put the weight at I mean the the width at 683 and the the height at 512. Uh I'm going to put that at 1440. And I'm going to put the height at 1080. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and batch five of these. I haven't seen out, seen what this prompt is going to do yet, but I did generate a whole bunch of other pictures that I can show you already. Uh, I'm going to drop that seed. I'm going to take that seed away. And we're going to take a look and we're going to see what they are. I'll be back. Okay, thank you. Okay, we did finish. I did forget a couple of things. Um, I didn't bring down the the denoising strength down to 35. It was at 7, so all the pictures were coming out, so I stopped it. Uh, there was another thing I, I, I messed up on that I don't remember now, so I had to stop it and start it over again because I forgot to change that as well. Um, but th this is what I want to show you. So you'll see stuff like, like the faces and stuff like that, so you do definitely want to mess with the weights. I do like the way this came out. Now, I was watching a video from... The guy is very nice. Uh, he's a YouTuber. If you get into stuff like in painting with Krita, 
it's 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 very good to to go out and watch people who make creative videos. Uh, Rexel Bartomi, Bartolomi. Uh, I'll leave a, a, a link uh, in this uh, a, to, to his channel because he he goes off and he also shows you how to in paint with Krita um, using stable diffusion, and he tell he talks about uh, brush strokes. What I'm talking about right now is what it, uh, one of the videos is where he talks about how you can just use simple brush strokes to make really good pictures. Now, if you're if you're if you're not into actually painting and stuff like that. I, you might not really get into it. I, I got into it a lot, but it's it's a really good channel. And anyways, like I, I just love the way the pictures came out. I should I should bring it up on the other picture, but I I love the way these it just the, it just looks like random. I don't know, like like random brush strokes that made a picture. But it's it's hard for me to explain. But I really love these pictures. I I, I like I like how. I just love all the colors. Now, see, look at this. And this is the only one that came out like this, though. You will get a face art here, though. Mixing it with other models, mixing it with other Loras. See? Oh, man. Oh, I like how the one came out with two chicks. Very beautiful. Very beautiful pictures. I did forget. Uh, I didn't notice until uh, until I was already. But I'm on Clip Skip too. I've never. I've never. I've. I've. I've, I've only used Clip Skip on this uh, once, and that was today, and that was earlier. Uh, I didn't realize I was doing it now. So I'm gonna drop the Clip Skip down to one, and then after I show you, I'll show you what, what the difference is with it when when you drop it down to one. Just 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 so we can get a look, and then I'll start showing you what it's like when you mess with the weights. Okay. Okay, so we're back. Now, you'll see... I, I really need to work on this a little bit. Sorry. But, okay. there. I don't really think there was much of a difference. I mean, the colors were a little different, yeah. But I don't, I don't know if there was much of a difference from clip one and clip two. I do like that tornado thing there. I don't know. I still like all the pictures. Uh, I do like the moon, the way the moons came out. Yeah, I do kind of like. See, I know a lot of people talk about clip skip, and they're always like, "Well, clip skip two, or clip," and, and and I just always just leave it on default one, unless I see in the in the little description on Civit AI that to to use this particular clip skip. Most of the time, even then, I'll just leave it on one because I, I usually end up liking one better. Uh, look at that. And this is this is this is clip skip one or, or clip skip two, two, but it was a little different. I liked it. I yeah. See, look, you can see all that. I don't know. I kind of like the two better. I like the moon. I like this picture a lot. Um, I don't know if you can see that because it's covered up my OBS, but I liked it a lot. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy this. And like I showed you yesterday, I'm going to go down to here. I'm going to bring up the prompts from file text, text or text box. Prompts from file or text box. I need to learn how to slow down. I'm going to copy paste that. I'm going to put this 0.8. And then I'm going to copy it again, just because it saves me a little bit of time. Enter, enter. I'm going to space seven. Enter, enter. V six. Ooh. Six. And I'm only going to go down to four. I'm only going to go down to four. You know what? I'll go down to I'll go down to two. I'll go down to two. Just so we can see we can just see what it looks like when you go all the way down to two. 
I mean, if 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 you guys want to try it out, you can you can always bring it down. Sometimes sometimes I'll drop this one all the way down to one, and it 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 just it it will do something. It just doesn't do much, but you will see a difference in the picture if you take it away, and and that's why I'm like, oh well, you know what? I'll drop it down to one, and it actually make I actually like it with it in there. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure that I take this down to one because I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, should I grab a seed? I should grab a seed just to make sure. You know what? We'll go here. Uh, let's take a look. This was the last one. This is the one that I like with the moon. And they had the little water right there. So we're going to grab this seed right here. Where is it? Where is that seed? Right here. This is the seed. So I'm going to grab this seed. Copy it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to paste it right there. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to generate all these with uh, that seed right there. Okay? and i will come back and bother you when it's done okay and we're back and look at this see already i love this and this is just eight this was just eight eight a lot of the times you're gonna find is, is the sweet spot i like i like that look see how it added that on there it's just uh it's i, I love this laura I love all the things it does. Uh, look at that. Eight, a lot of the times you are going to find is, is, is the sweet spot. Uh, let's go to this one and see. Look at that. Look at that. I like how it put the planets over here. And it's a simple prompt. It's, it's a very simple. Look, 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 look how it put the little planet over here. I mean, all this, uh, like, y you can do all this in just in-painting and, and making your own stuff with in-painting. That's why I love Krita, is because if, if, if you want, you could always just do this yourself. But I really love this Laura. This is, this is one of my favorite ones. This is, is my favorite one, actually. The, 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 this one and um, Orderly, I don't know, Orderly Chaos is coming in really, really hard on this one. Look at that. How it just has, like, planets just laying on the floor. I like how it has that third arm right there. <laughs> and just one foot. That's very pretty. It's very pretty, but the closer you're getting down, it's kind of... Uh, it is pretty, though. It is pretty. None of them look like she's dancing. This one looks more like she's, I don't know, chasing that wolf or something. I will get you with a knife. Then it goes back to this. Uh, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this, Laura. Uh, I did generate a bunch of pictures. Uh, I will show you what they are. Uh, let me get them. Let me see. How long does it take me to get them real quick? We'll go into we'll go into the cat first. Okay. Here's the cat. The cat, the cat came out real good. It's a robotic cat. I don't think I blended this one in with the uh, with the orderly chaos yet. Uh, well, with with the uh, the cat one yet. I think I think later on down the road. Uh, I do think it was the cat that I ended up blending it in with. I don't know. I will blend in some with it, and I'll show you what they both look like together. Because I was doing it that one night, and it did look pretty good. But it makes really good cats too. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to spend too much time just just showing you pictures. You can you can. I'll put some prompts in there you can play with, and, and you can you can see just just mess around with the weights. Um, it's not hard to come up with your own prompts. I know that, but I do know a lot of people like seem to be having problems with them. Uh, it 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 does get tricky. Like I'm having an okay time with uh, stable diffusion prompts. I did jump on Deep Floyd, and for some reason, like all my prompts on Deep Floyd suck. Uh, I jumped on uh, uh, Mid Journey. I tried Mid Journey, and I just didn't know it. And from what I've heard from some of several other people, is like each little program is going to have its own prompts. It's it's almost like learning a language. It's not like learning a real language, and it's not like learning a programming language. But it it will take some time getting used to jumping from each side. But it's not that hard. It really isn't that hard. Once you've been working with Stable Diffusion for a while, 
you learn and, and the models are starting to get easier and easier to mess with uh, easier prompts easier prompts is what they're trying to push with with the models and the lures I'm liking that a lot I don't think I don't think anybody wants this stuff to be too difficult the easier it is the better you know uh, people can play with it of course that means the easier it is the harder it's going to be for anybody to get a job doing this stuff uh, prompt engineering I don't know I don't know that I don't know the basics of it as far as uh, I don't know the I don't know the future of it to be honest I don't know if if if, if it's going to be easy getting a job doing this in the future because I, I, I just I see it all being done very easily very very manually i don't i don't think uh people are going to be paying much to do it a friend of mine told me that somebody was charging for prompts they were like running a website where you could buy prompts and i was like that's just a joke that's going to last like a month or two and then people are going to figure out oh well it's this easy to you know make prompts and that website i don't i don't know i don't see i don't see anybody paying for that um they're just it ends up becoming really easy there are a few models that are really, really good on Civit AI. Uh, the RPG one, they're really, really good models. You can do a lot with them. You can get very detailed with them. And their prompts are really hard. Not not really hard, but but they do give you little tutorials that, you, you know, little PDFs that you can sit there and read through. Uh, you can get very detailed on them. Uh, I want a blue sweater, you know, knife, this kind of knife, whatever, 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 whatever. And uh, it, it it will take you a while to learn those kind of prompts. Uh, I didn't I didn't even I didn't even try. I was like, oh, okay, this 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 is uh, this is different. Uh, but they are good models. Um, I, I I would like to learn them. It's just I ain't got the time right now. I got work. I got this. I got uh, I. Okay, I quit playing video games because of stable diffusion, and I was already getting kind of tired of video games anyways. I quit playing video games. I was like, hey, you know what? Now, like, instead of playing video games, I'll sit here and I'll just prompt. I'll prompt. I'll sit there. I'll look at pictures. I'll see. I'll see. Okay, what lore is going to work with what? What models are going to work with what? This is taking like most of my 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 free time. If I'm not working, I can I can be sick and laying in bed, and I'll have the computer here and, and the keyboard here, and I'll be I'll be I'll be typing and stuff, trying to trying to see what works. Just because if I don't know. I, th this is like this. This is this is really have has become addicting to me. I love I love this game. <laughs> to me, this is a game, and uh, I can very much see in the future artists being like, "Well, I, I don't. I can't generate a game. I can't make a game or whatever, but I can draw really good. And people play this like a game, so it's kind of like I'm, I am making a game. I don't know. I don't know. Artists get very touchy with this, so I don't know, but. I'm loving this. I'm loving this a lot. And you can just make all different kinds of cats. I don't know. I have a thing with cats. I have a thing with dogs. I like I like making them. I like putting them in different kind of series. I mean, uh, settings. Um, I was trying to make this one more robotic. I, I have done it with uh, this Laura. Different models. Uh, you can make you can make really good robotic stuff with it. Uh, I've I've mixed it with the Wow Wow was I Wowizer. Uh, I did I did put it in one of the other videos. This Laura will blend very well with other Lauras. Uh, I put it in with Wawazire. I put it in with um, the the other RFK uh, Lauras all the time. All the time, the RFK Lauras. Uh, RFTKs. Oh, man. I, 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 uh, yeah. But I'll put them in there. Uh, it, 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 mix, it mixes very well. Hold on. Let me go get the other one. Uh, oh, the eyeballs. The eyeballs came out really good. Look at that. I love the eyeballs on this. And this is just futuristic robot eyeballs. Look at that. Look at that. I love the way eyeballs come out with this thing. Look at that one. And with this model... I was like, wow, look at that. Like, it just came out so black. Like, like it's just, I don't know. It made me think of something like, uh, like, like, like Flash Gordon. I used to love Flash Gordon. Flash, oh, with, uh, with, with the Queen, with, when Queen did the soundtrack to Flash. Oh, man, I love that movie. I missed that movie. I should watch it again. But, uh, th this, this, this is a really good model. 
This is a really good model. Look at that. I need I need to play I need to play around with this model a lot more. Look at that. Uh, did I, I uh, this one this one I mixed with um, with the orderly chaos. You can tell with because of the ears because of the ears right there. Yeah, this one was was mixed with orderly chaos. Yeah, see, see. I like this, like, like the street came out kind of, kind of like, like almost like it's like, it's real, like it's wet. And then everything else is just like that brush. I'll leave a link to, um, Rexel Bardo, Bardo me. Uh, and, and I'll, I'll put down the video that I was watching and he'll tell you like, like, like what brushes that he uses. The name of the video is only three brushes matter. Krita painting tutorial. And uh, he talks about brushes in there, and I was like, man, you know, that's that's really good. He gives you really good tips on it. Uh, I like trying to paint with Krita. I like messing around with Krita. Uh, that was, uh, I'm only mentioning him. I watch a lot of the Krita people. I'm only mentioning him because he did he did do uh, stuff with Stable Diffusion. Uh, I, like if if I noticed like people like I don't like mentioning artists because um, well it's a big touchy thing and I don't want people being like oh he mentioned me and like now people are getting mad at me or anything like that. So uh, I, like. I don't know the tutorials though. If you're into in painting, if you're into to, to photo bashing and stuff like that, it's good to watch those videos because you do pick up stuff. You do learn. You do learn. But yeah, you can you can definitely tell that this has the orderly chaos in it. Now this this next one is just uh, now this is just only the 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 model the Laura. I always have a problem learning stuff when I need to say it, but I'm going to have a problem with that. Dark surrealism. Oh man, I'm going to have a problem with that. I hate that, but I don't know. These came out. I like the, see, I like the way it all looks brushed, but it's not, it wasn't anything like what I was looking for. Like none of these were pretty much what I was looking for see that that was that was pretty nice you can see the buildings here you can see that these people that looks like an eyeball look at that like oh man I really love this model I, I'm in this Laura I use it I use it with everything I usually try to try to just knock it down until until but you will you will see different stuff like uh, like if you if you put it in something you can knock it all the way down to one you can take it out and you can say okay well it did kind of change something there it might not be to your fancy I love it I love it it's definitely uh, Nolan Walter he did a great job with this one he has some other models that I want to show that that he did really good with uh, he's 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 a great guy Great, uh, great, great person. Great, great. Whoever did it, great. I don't want to. I don't want to get anybody mad, but it was great for him to for them to do this. Look at this. I really like this one. I like like that. That looks just like a weird face t to me, but it also looks like he's standing facing it and it's facing you. I like the the, the eyeball there. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Now I want to show you. I want to show you one more, and then uh, I'll let you go. Uh, let's go. What happened to my dog? Okay. Look at that. Look at that dog. Now this one. This one will show you the model, because a lot of this is the model. Like if you if you look at the. Hold on. Like, look at this, and then, oh, hold on one second. Look at this, and then, look at that. You see? Like, you can tell, this is what I should do. There you go. Like you can see how the those blacks come out, 
and you can see you can see like the shadows in here He did a really good job with this Laura. I mean, with this model. I'm surprised I haven't played with it more. See, look, look at this one. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Why is it doing that? That's weird. Okay. But you can see. Man, I need to get my. Like, you can tell that a lot of that is the model. I really didn't get my OBS skills up a little. But, look at that. That came out really good. Just dark. The face didn't come out very good, but it is low res. I didn't high res this one. That came out really good. Just almost looks like his gun. Ooh, look at that one. Look at that dog. Oh man, look at that dog. This one was low res as well. But it's definitely a good model. Definitely a good lower. Oh, this is when it high res it. I think. Yeah, I think this one was when I high res it. But look at that. <laughs> I like that right there. <laughs> It's it's you're gonna have a lot of fun with it if you choose to download it. Um, if you choose to try and play them, play with them both, you're gonna have a lot of fun with them both. I like that. Look at that. And th th these were all the same prompt. It was supposed to be a dog in the street, and for some reason, it was just it was just putting people in there. I was like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> but definitely making good images here. Um, But, man, I can do this all day. I'll do this all day. I'll sit here and try and get the best prompt out. Usually I'll just high-res all of them, and then I'll come back and I'll be like, okay, what am I going to play with? But, oh, man, I can do this all day. And I'll, I'll throw through watercolor, um, all different kind of you know mediums, and then we're back to the beginning. So I'm not going to waste your guys' uh, time much more. Uh, RFK, TRs, Dark Dream uh thank you so much this is a great model I, I played with it before I, I i definitely need to start playing with it more because this is definitely uh something that, that, that i should have been playing with a lot more lit earlier i just i just now noticed it today as far as uh how well it was it was behaving um dark sur uh surrealism ai my favorite favorite laura uh, try it out. I guarantee. Well, I don't guarantee, but I'm, I'm pretty positive you're gonna like it. Uh, you, you play with it. Play with it with different different weights. It's not. It's not. Um, I don't know. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not um, that popular. Uh, you look like. I mean, if you look down here, uh, how many how many downloads does it have? It has 812. That's not bad. I don't think it's bad. I don't know. But it doesn't seem like like that many people talk about it. It is great. It is great. It is it is it is easily easily my favorite Laura. Uh, it is getting some challenge from Orderly Chaos, but I don't know. I think it's gonna be really hard for me to choose because I think from now on I'll, I'm I'm gonna be playing with both of them a lot, a lot. I'm gonna be playing with both of them. Like, look at this. <sighs> look at that. That's a good one. Look at that. Where'd he go? Okay, there you go. Look, look, that's so pretty. Look at those wings. See? <sighs> look at that. Look at the fairy. I've seen this one before. I like how the, the, the table almost looks like it's floating. I love this one. This one is great. This one is just beautiful. Uh, look at the sunflowers. 
And th- th- this this Laura just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. And he he's got he's got a ton of other ones. Um, here I'll show you. I'll show you before I go because I I I really love this and I was very excited to bring it. I played with Cere- a surreal steampunk AI. Very good. It is it, that one is very good. Uh, let me see. And colorful s- surrealism AI. Okay. I was gonna make a video on it later. Uh, I think I played with this one as well, but I don't remember it too much. I was going to make a video with this as well. Uh, I think what I did was I blended this one. I merged uh, uh, Surreal Steam- Steampunk AI and I, I, I merged Colorful Surrealism AI. I think I, I merged both of those and I was using Dark Surrealism. And I'm telling you, you'll get some really good pictures out of it. You'll get some really good pictures out of it. And I'm betting i'm betting you throw in the orderly chaos in there and i'm betting you're gonna get some really trippy pictures in there uh, I'm, I'm just betting I, I haven't done it yet i'm gonna do that next i might make that the next video as well because because this is this has really gotten me excited I'm, I'm very glad i got this out uh yeah but you might want to try that out uh I'm, it's probably gonna be my next video you might want to try out the the surreal steampunk ai and the the colorful surrealism AI, uh, merge them together, and then and then try the dark dark surrealism AI. You you might get a big kick out of those. I'm I'm probably man. I'm probably I need to go to bed. It's 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 already nine thirty. I need to go to bed, but I might be doing that instead. Okay, thanks for watching. You guys have a great night. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll see you later. Bye.